coming back here today. It's just, we're excited to get things back open. RC Fitness owners Tony and Debbie Yost haven't welcomed members through the doors of their Reed City gym since March 16th. That changed this morning. Okay, we <laughs> got here early this morning and started cleaning and sanitizing and uh, yeah. just being prepared for when people started to come in. So it's not going to be an overnight process. I think it's going to take yeah. a little bit of time for people to start coming back in because everyone has adopted new lifestyles. In Mount Pleasant, MP Fit Club owner Beth Berge says it will still be a few days before she gets back to indoor classes as she works to collect equipment she's loaned out to members over the last few months. It just felt forever away and it didn't, I was wondering if it even happened before the first of the year. So, you know, it's really exciting. It's kind of surreal. It's a lot of just preparing and making sure that we do everything right. When indoor fitness classes resume here at MP Fit Club, things like masks and frequent sanitizing will be required, as well as social distancing. That means every member will have to stay within one of these 10 by 10 spaces during their workout. I think back to, you know, we went from virtual to outdoor and just never knowing and adapting and changing and I feel like we're still kind of figuring things out. Even so, gym owners are just happy to get back open. It's nice to be back opened up and having people come back in and seeing old faces. For 9 and 10 News, I'm David Lydon.